Hello friends, so today we'll be learning about what is meant by a backbone router. So if we talk about a single autonomous system which is part of the internet, which is a part of the internet and this part of internet is managed by an organization, it's an entity in its own. So for example, we talk about AS4, this might be managed by an organization like IBM. Now such organizations are huge. So basically these autonomous systems also have multiple entities among themselves. They are, these entities are called various areas. Okay. Now a single area can have multiple routers. The routers which lie within an area, for example, this is an area of these three computers. This is a router which lies totally inside this area. Then this router will be called a internal router. Now, uh, there can be multiple areas in an autonomous system, that, but how are these areas connected? The topology of an area need not be ap like uh, need not be shown outside it can be abstracted out so uh, like for example area 2 doesn't knows what is the topology of area 1 how area 1 looks like but these are all interconnected in the end so for example area 1 area 2 these are uh, having some computers and routers internally this is also having some internally uh, some computers and routers and then these might not be directly connected but there is a central area which is maybe somewhere here which basically connects to all of the various autonomous systems directly or indirectly so basically if any autonomous system wants to reach any other autonomous system then they can do so via the backbone router so basically this backbone area basically so backbone area is central area basically this area again can have multiple different routers in it uh, each of those routers are called backbone routers so I hope uh, this is clear how uh, various areas in autonomous system uh, connect to each, each other and what is a backbone router. Thank you friends. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel.